Anybody go anywhere? Anything to share? Or we spent the time here relaxing. Nothing? Nothing to share? All right. Well, Luigi is uh, in India right now, so I'll uh, do science class. I'm going to make it a short one. But still, we're going to talk about a lot of important things going on right now in our history and also within the world, things that are happening. And we'll do a bit of Gurbani study with God and Simmer, and then we'll call it a night. First of all, does anyone know the significance of, uh, it was during your March break, so I'm not sure what you did for that day. March 14th, does anyone know? What was March 14th? Anybody know? That was Sikh New Year. How many people knew that? Yeah, good. You know, it's, uh, I was saying everyone knows about Chinese New Year, and of course we all know about January 1st. But Kavi Lok, what are you about that? Sick New Year about it. Even in the Gurdwara, in fact, very few people uh, celebrate it. In fact, out of all the Gurdwaras in the GTA, the only one that I found that was ha that had a celebration and had a kirtan all night until midnight to start the New Year was where? Does anyone know? No one go there? It was at Malton. That's it. That's the only place that I called around and I asked. And Malton was the only one that says, yes, we are having Okande Kirtan one Rata, Simran Kirtan Chalega, and then we'll start the new year. So uh, my point in saying that is uh, we don't seem to care a lot about this as a community, which is too bad because um, I think all Chinese people care about Chinese New Year. and. We all care about January 1st. It's a Yakafi, December no Al. Anybody saw on New Year's Eve the Gurza? You know how packed it is? Have you ever seen that? Right? And that New Year, that's fine. It's according to our, the calendar we use, but it's not really our New Year. So how is it that we put so much passion and uh, so much uh, effort into celebrating that New Year, and we don't even care about the one that Guru Sahib gave us, right? According to our calendar. So that's something to think about. Malton said, I think last year, maybe it was the first year, the year before, they said they had very few people, then it went up again. And this year they had about 200 people. So who knows, they said, it, hopefully it keeps growing and more and more people participate in that. It was a weeknight, uh, so I really appreciated their log, then they went to work the next day. So that was a very good effort on those people, on, on the part of those people. So that was the first thing I wanted to cover. Uh, just to complete that talk a little bit. So uh, the new year begins with the month. Does anyone know what the AC month it begins with? We don't know much about our calendars, do we? No. It begins with the month of Kaid. Okay, guys? So the first of Kaid is the beginning of the sixth new year, which is very appropriate because Kaid means to remember. So, what a perfect way to start the new year. Right? Connect your consciousness with the one, right? Paramatma, Vaidhana. That's the best way to start your new year. So one chait reminds us, ekno chait karo, right? Paramatma yaad karo. What year are we in? Does anyone know? Because we have a calendar. We Christians have a calendar based on the birth of Jesus. We also have a calendar. It's called Nanakshai calendar. Does anyone know what year we're in in Nanakshai now? We started in New Year. Uh, 551 actually, yes. We're starting this year started Kwanso uh, Ikwanja Saab 551. And uh, we're celebrating this year actually Guru Nanak Dev Ji's 550th Prakash. So does anyone know why there's a one year discrepancy? Anyone know? It started with the birth of Guru Nanak, but in 1469, when Guru Nanak Dev Ji came into this world, 
In Nanakshai calendar, that's year one. But in 1469, what was Guru Nanak Dev He wasn't one yet, right? Uh, in his in his physical form, he became, he turned one on in in 1470, right? You know, one year old. So they said that one year old birthday, one year old son, one year old samate, oh, again, one point so one year, five hundred fifty one in the Nanak Shri Kram. So those are things for you guys to know. I think it's important. Um, what else can we talk about? What happened? Um, yesterday, happy Guru Purv, so something that happened yesterday, does anyone know what that was? Ali Bhaj Manayaji, I'll give you another example now, everybody knows about Holi, but nobody knows about what we celebrated. Holi does not know for the happy Holi. Anji. Ola Malla, that's right, Ola Malla. Can anyone tell me that Ola Malla is here? No one knows Ola Malla? Okay, yes, the same young man. Yes. Pardon? Gatka is part of it, that's true, yes. Anybody have more of an explanation? Ola Malla is uh, a celebration started by, does anyone know when it started? Who started? Guru Gobind Singh Ji, that's right. Dasmesh uh, Pita, he started it. And what was the purpose of it? People were celebrating already, right? Holi was there, Oteki Loki Ki Kaagdesi, having fun, throwing colors on each other, right? Rangek Puja De Sordesi. So Guru Gobind Singh Ji, he realized this is a perfect opportunity. Let's do something more productive. Let's do something more useful. Instead of just having fun, let's have fun. And at the same time, right? So he decided just to dedicate this day for the martial arts, right? It's an opportunity to, to honor Sikh martial arts. So what does that include? Gatka, Shasta Vidya, horse, uh, horseback riding, uh, archery, things like that. Those things that warriors need to know, Guru Gobind Singh Ji said once a year, we'll all get together and the best people in those martial arts can show their skills. So they had competitions, contests, they had exhibitions, and this tradition has been coming along from the time of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. They sang karthe hoke, gorse karthe hoke, they aapna dikhande ne, poor swar, they, right, eat vaji, they, all these things, they get to show uh, their skills. And it's important to develop those skills because we don't fight all the time, but when a battle comes, you have to be ready, right? That's the concept of tiyar par tiyar, right? So Guru Gobind Singh Ji can say that tiyar ro, apni jari tiyari karke, practice, do your uh, your abhyas, and then you can, if, even if we're not fighting in battle, you can show your skills uh, on Hola Malla. So that's what Hola Malla is. You can think, consider it kind of like, uh, you can call it like the Khalsa Olympics, right? Because Khalsa Olympics is like a games where people come together and compete in whether it's in um, you know in, in the winter sport in the winter sports or the summer sports they compete in different disciplines right so the same way at this event uh, people compete in different disciplines uh, of martial arts okay guys so that's what Holi Malla is and of course I already mentioned Holi everyone knows about that so the similar to uh, Diwali. Hindus have their celebration, we have our own, right? We have Bandi Chorte. So it's a tra Hindu on the Jara Denaga Holi, the Apanaga Hola Malla. So there's nothing wrong in saying happy holy. If you know some Hindu, that's what they're celebrating. But don't forget, guys, for us, it means more than just throwing our colors on each other, right? It's about having the warrior spirit, right? Being true Khalsas, being true Sangh Sipais. Tradition Jara Maharaj Sang Sitadi, we shouldn't forget that. So that happened. Uh, what else? What was on Wednesday? Does anyone know? Just kind of a general knowledge question. Anyone know? What was Wednesday? Yeah, hand up. So, uh, not the lumberjacks, but besides, because you already answered this. Yeah. 
Yes, Berthier Spring, also known as the Spring Equinox, right? Equinox or Equinox, yes. So, uh, I don't know, I guess it looks like winter is getting its last uh, kind of jab. Uh, that's why it's pretty windy outside, you might have noticed today. Spring is going to come on, let me spring will officially start. By the way, in, uh, in Sikh tradition, you guys know what that time is when flowers are blooming and it's the uh, whole world is full of light. season on which we can say is like spring. I heard somebody put up your hand. Good thing. Basant, that's right. Basant Roth is the season of Basant. That is like spring. That's when the flowers are blooming and everything is beautiful. And so they celebrate this in uh, Sikh tradition with uh, a lot of Kirtan we did on the Basant Raghavit. And so it's a time that people can celebrate the beginning of a new year. And to me, it makes a lot more sense the way our new year is. In the dead of winter, in January, or when things are blooming, you can see new beginnings, you can see flowers blooming. Doesn't that feel more like the beginning of a year, right? So I think it's perfect. I'll find your system doing something with that. So uh, please keep that in mind. Um, what else is happening in the, in the world that we should talk about? Um, something sad happened on Friday. Does anyone know about that? Friday to us. More of a general knowledge. Um, I really appreciate these two saints because they know, they're well informed, and they also have the confidence. But I'm really wondering, okay, Baki Saran, you don't want to participate, or what's going on? I, I hope we're not, yes, finally. Yes, stay in the middle. Yes, so there was a massacre in New Zealand. How many people heard about this? Yes, good. I'm sure everyone heard about it uh, in a city in New Zealand called Christchurch. Um, and that caused some confusion because some people, maybe if they were in Christchurch, they thought the massacre happened at a church. But actually, that was the name of the city. And a little bit about New Zealand, let me tell you about it. It's uh, beside another country, the only country that's also a continent. Which country is that? Yes. Australia. Australia. So it's part of what we call Oceania, that part of the world. It's beside Australia. And it has a population of 5 million people, so it's about the size of Toronto, uh, the GTA anyway. And uh, it's actually a very peaceful place. There's Gurdwaras there too, and all kinds of people live there. So it's a very... Uh, everybody was shocked, because you don't expect something like that to happen in New Zealand. Such a peaceful and uh, welcoming place. Yes. Yes, these days, guys, nowhere in the world is immune, it looks like, right? In Quebec City, you know about that a few years ago? Someone did the same thing. They had a, a big problem with Muslims, so what did they do? It's very uh, obviously something wrong with this person mentally, so full of hatred that he went and he shot people at the Quebec City mosque. And it's happened in the US, of course, it's happened in Europe. It's happened now in New Zealand. So it looks like nobody can avoid having some crazy people in their country. And we should remember that uh, and what happened yesterday and even today was people got together at the local, uh, yesterday they got together at Brampton City Hall to stand together with the Muslims to express solidarity, that we feel your pain and we're with you. And Aji Ek Mosque Agassi in the Trinity Commons area on Bavaria and 410 on Great Lakes, and they had a ring of peace where people of all different religions got together to show uh, Muslims that, uh, you know, we feel your pain and that we're with you. So these are the kinds of things we need to do for each other. We can, unfortunately, uh, prevent uh, bad things from happening. But when we have a lot of people in what we can do is that we can't do anything else, but we can't do anything else. Right? We can feel the pain that people are going through and we can do a dot for them. I don't know how many of you felt the pain of hearing about this, but if we don't care about things like this, then that's the beginning of the end of our humanity. 
ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਇਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੂਜਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਦਰਦ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੀਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਨਾ ਦੈਟ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਭੁੱਲ ਜਾਓ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਹਿਊਮੈਨਿਟੀ ਇਨ ਯੂ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਡੋਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਅਦਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਪੇਨ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਬਾਦਰ ਯੂ ਥੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਨੀਅਰ ਗੋਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਨਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸ ਔਨ ਦਾ ਪਾਥ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਸਿੱਕੀ ਬਿਲੀਵਸ ਇਨ ਕੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਦਰਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਈ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਕਾਲਡ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਫੋਰ ਸਰਵਤ ਦਾ ਫਲਾ that means we don't pray for ourselves or only our families we pray for everyone so when someone suffers we also feel their pain and where we can help them we do help the groups like khalsa a the groups like united six who do their best ke jitne koi mari cheez hundi hai they always make sure there's a sick presence to show that we care and we want to help right so i thought i'd share that with you it's really unfortunate that it's happening in the world um people get these ideas and the main problem guys is hatred and you have to remember that so if it if even if you have one drop of hatred in you it poisons everything bande nu khatam kar denda jinni maadi cheez hai na nafrat uh as you can say the bad growth any time you start hating any people because of who they are you are automatically turning away from god that is not the path of sikhi that's not the path of religion and what people don't realize is when they do things like this like this guy he didn't kill himself a lot of times these guys kill themselves but this guy was arrested and he's going to spend the rest of his life in jail it's a waste of his life and he ruined many other lives by doing this and i don't know what he thinks he gained by doing this but there's nothing of benefit when we hate anybody right when we hate people because of their color of their skin or their religion or their nationality or their ethnicity when we do that we are walking away from sikhi we are walking away from humanity right humanity is about love for all that's what sikhi is about sikhi teaches us two things sarvata palali ardas karni hai praying for everyone and guru gobind singh ji told us manas ki jaat sab ek ke pehchan that means recognize the whole human race as one right one big extended family regardless of religion color all those things we are all human beings that's the bottom line everything we do at gurdwara is to remind ourselves that we are all human beings we sit together in the divan why do we sit together on the ground to remind ourselves that when it comes to god we are on common ground what does that mean common ground yes equality it reminds us that we are equal right kyunki parmatma jab tak we only stand in front of god god does not see color or nationality or even gender god sees a soul atma jehi apni atma hai na oh si jab samne parmatma de khade ha parmatma de dekh da ek atma hai e ni ke who is this person what they look like all those things that we care about don't matter to god right so if they don't matter to god why do they matter so much to us when we start pe- seeing people of all different religions and communities at the gurdwara then we'll understand what sikh is about because this place is not for sikh right gurdwara might be a sikh place of worship but it's not for sikh it's for everyone everyone should feel welcome here and until everyone feels welcome here we're not achieving the mission of guru nanak he traveled 27000 kilometers on foot all over india he could have stayed in punjab and said i'm only going to do prachar here Why did he travel all around? Yes. Yes, because the message was for everyone and Guru Sahib loved everyone, right? He loved everyone. And that's why I feel very discouraged when I see that uh going on in the world and even in our own community, uh people who have been discriminated against, you would think that they're smart enough to not discriminate against others. but sometimes it doesn't happen and in our community i see our own discrimination guys don't hate anybody whatever group it is not because of the color they are or the religion they believe in that's not the sick way does that make sense right okay uh something else sad happened um this was not a terrorist attack but a lot of people perished a lot of people died does anyone know about that it happened around the same time have you heard you ever heard the expression when it rains it pours So last week it was pouring and uh there was unfortunately a lot of bad uh, ha- happenings dukh dai karna aa kaafi si ya pichle hafte dukh dai karna aa means a sad or tragedy or a sad happening a sad occurrence 
Anybody else want to contribute here? This guy's he's doing a great job. Okay, yeah. Sorry? I'm not sure about the flood. I, I don't know what's going on in the whole world. I try to pay attention, but I was thinking about the, the plane crash. Anyone hear about this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who can tell me more details? What happened uh, and, when, uh, and uh, where it happened? So put up your hand, please. Don't shout it out. Yes. Um, so there was a plane crash. Yep. Uh, there were, I think. Um, where did it happen? Okay. And we saw um, like death and settlement. And the, the, the tip of the plane, like the nose part, is supposed to be for the propulsion. Yep. And then went downwards and then crashed. Good. Okay, so let's start filling in the details. You got a lot of the important details, but not all of them. First of all, for context, where did this happen? Sakia? Uh, Amola, sorry? Um, uh, it was like Ethiopia. Ethiopia, that's right. Ethiopia is a country where? in Africa, that's right. And so this was Ethiopian Airlines flight. And um, as was mentioned here, um, there was a, a system of the plane that's actually helped, is meant to help the pilot. And in fact, that system did not work. And it actually created the worst effect. Instead of helping the pilot, the pilot was having to fight against the system. And in the end, he lost this battle against the computerized uh, navigation system. And the system was meant to help the, uh, the plane in cases of turbulence. And because the, the, the nose of the plane was going up and down, the, uh, uh, the pilot was trying to do one thing with the plane, the plane was doing something else and eventually it crashed. And that's unfortunate. And now they're finding out there are many other planes of this type in the world and they've grounded all of those until they make sure they're safe. Does anyone know what type of plane that was? Yes, a Boeing 737, that's right. And uh, in fact, I think it was called a Max 8 or something, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So this plane, um, that's a scary thing, guys. We trust airlines, we trust pilots, uh, we trust our technology. Um, but that shows you guys, everything we do in our life, we're putting our life, not only on those people's hands, we're putting our life in God's hands, right? Everything we do, we should do with faith because we should trust God and sometimes things don't work out but we should still consider that God's fauna, God's will and find whatever best we can. Now I know many people die but hopefully we can learn something from this and maybe it will prevent future deaths. Maybe other people, maybe more people would have crashed, right? And so I hope they can fix this problem. So that was another thing. Yes? Um, the it was pretty new, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it wasn't a question of wear and tear, it was a question of the technology, right? Yeah, absolutely. So one more thing happened that was uh, not, it didn't involve anybody dying, but it was pretty shocking. And it happened in the US regarding the universities and colleges. Does anyone know about that? One more thing I thought I would touch on. Amola, say? Uh, no, that, yeah, that's related to uh, the Doug Ford government in Ontario, uh, but I'm talking about something else. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? There was a scandal involving Rishwat. Does anyone know what Rishwat is? It's called Rishwat and Punjabi. What is it in English? Bribery, yes. Bribery is when you pay money to get something that you don't actually deserve, right? Sometimes you can buy things, certain things you should not be able to buy. And one of those is an education. In the US what happened is including many top schools, what was found out was that people who had money, like actresses and famous people, were paying money to get their kids into uh, the programs they wanted to get into. And what was the result of that? Poor people who could not afford to pay that bribe were not getting admission even when they deserve to be in that university, right? So who suffers? Rich people, it's good for them. 
and actually not only good for them because their kids don't deserve to be there and they got in and for poor people it's really bad because their one way to move ahead in life is education and because of corruption because of bribery they're being held back because they don't have that kind of money right it's hard enough for them to pay for university but how do they on top of uh, you know if the children work hard and they study we always tell them if you live in the ghetto or in a bad place or where you don't have a lot of money you can move up work hard in school and you can get you can move your family ahead in life and these people couldn't because they didn't have the money to afford the bribe and the good thing is unlike india uh, in other countries no, i don't want to just pick on india but in some countries this is considered normal but in us what happened those actresses those famous people were arrested they had to put up money as bail and now they're going to be charged and tried in court of law it doesn't matter how famous they are if you do something wrong and you get caught you will pay the price that's the way a democracy works that's the way a modern country should be right in, in india they would kind of sweep it under the rug and try to hide it that's the way we are in canada and the us they're doing the same thing the person who was making money from these bribes he's been arrested the people who are paying to have their kids get in the program they've been arrested so we'll see what happens now but the good thing is at least now uh, this uh, scandal has exposed these schools now they'll be careful and they won't accept bribes anymore i hope to let any students in and students can get in based on whether they're smart enough or not okay so that was the other thing you had your hand up yes stereotype about people okay guys every human being is a different person all right so uh, this is a much I want to talk now let's do some actual practical sikhi and the most practical thing we can do is to not jump so I can I can get five minutes to cut you on Simran Kariye and when I was there for New Year's at Malton this was the Shabbat that the Pai Sahib started the New Year with beautiful Shabbat very simple meaning okay I was thinking guys even if you learn one new pankti a week if you memorize it if you print it uh, on your heart and you learn the meaning you will see your life improve every week right bahut ani ek pankti so main har jagah meri duty hai main aake to ek pankti devanga one pankti ka jo pankti hai the line right or so it will only be four or five words but it will be a complete pankti and it will tell you something important about sikhi so today's pankti as you can see up on the screen here you guys can repeat after me mango ram te ek daan mango ram te ek daan and what is this meaning very simple mango mangna what does that mean everyone knows this even if your punjabi is limited even if you don't know that i'm pretty sure everyone knows can somebody else put up their hand please guys participate someone who haven't haven't heard from today yes mangna na ki aste you can say ask or begging right aap kisi mummy dad mummy daddy ko koi cheez mangde hoge right maybe you mang a phone or a tablet or some cool new gift right some toys right we always ask for things from our parents right that's what mangna mangna means you can say ask or beg yeah you have your hand up is that what you're going to say yeah okay So now you know the first word is asking or begging. Ram, who is Ram? Who is Ram? Ah, Basaji, fine. In the black part, fine. That's a Ram. So here's just a Ram. Ram is one of the many names. Who is Ramal? White Ramal. One of the many names used in Gurbani for for Vaigru, for God. Yes. So I ask. I beg from God te ek daan so parmatma karo ek cheez mango look at what guru ji is saying we ask for so many things we ask for health and money and education all those things are great 
But Guru Sahib is saying, why not ask for the one thing that if you get that, you get everything else with it. Isn't that the best thing to ask for? Yeah. What do you think, right? Yeah. That's like the master key. Health, prosperity, education, anything you can think of, you will get. Popularity, fame, respect, honor, all the things people look for, all you have to do is ask for now. So let's think about that while we sit, and first we'll repeat the Pankti, then we'll do some Gurmantada job, and then we'll sit quietly and just feel the Gurmantada inside of us, and then we'll say Pankti for tonight. Okay guys? So please, participation is key, so I want to hear all those beautiful voices, okay guys? Repeat after me. Sit up nice and straight, the way you would. Loving attention, I say. If you're sitting in a way like you're slacking, you're going to feel tired. If you sit in a respectful, loving way, you're going to have more attention, more energy, more focus. Okay, guys? Repeat after me. Mango Ram Te Ik Daan 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 Kesri. It's playing here at Silver City Brampton, Courtney Park, 
Winston Churchill, many theaters, and in uh, Square One as well. So please make the time to take your family and go see this movie. It's about the Battle of Saragari, in which 21 Sikhs fought against thousands and thousands of Pathans, against Af uh, Afghans, and they fought to the death. And this is actually a true life story, like 300, except we didn't have 300. The Sikhs had the spirit of Savalak. Each Sikh was like 125,000, and they fought with that spirit. And it's been recognized in the world as one of the greatest uh, and most inspirational uh, stories of bravery in the history of all of mankind. So uh, if you get time, please take your children to see this. If we have a group viewing, I'll put it in the group. Yes, you can see the same thing. So if you have a group viewing, I'll put it in the group. Yes, you can see the same thing. Because if you have a group viewing, I'll put it in the group. Because if you have we should feel very proud about this. And we should not forget our history. This is who we are, and we should feel proud. Thank you very much. Why did you come to Why did you come to Why did you come to